Hey y'all, you're watching Porty's Garage. First day of working on the Fleetwood here. And before we really start getting at anything, we gotta get this cleaned up. Gonna start from the bottom up with the carpet. So we're gonna be bringing this old shag stuff back to life here. First thing I'm gonna do, get these seats out of the way. I don't need anything in here. We're just gonna get the entire carpet nice and clean in one foul swoop. Gonna start with the back seat so that I can snake these front ones out of the back doors. Let's see how this goes. I think you're supposed to be able to push down on the back, pull up in the front, and they should just pop right out. There we go. You gotta kind of push them in and then pull them up. There she goes. Let's see if we got any treasures under the seat. I see some coinage. A little bit of electricals. Everyone loves a good Harbor Freight receipt. AutoZone. Oh, look at this. Some tabs from Oklahoma, 2013. Nice spare sugar just in case we get hungry and part of a shredded card. The reason I'm taking the front seats out the back is because the rear door opens ever so slightly more than the front. I'm hoping that'll help me out because I can only imagine how heavy these seats are going to be. Now for getting these front seats out. Should be just four bolts, I'm hoping, and then some sort of electrical connector. I already checked and they are 13 millimeters. So I'll start at the front and I'll work my way back here. Oh, looks like we got some plates over here covering the rear bolts. Let me grab a Phillips head and I'll get those out. Of course, there's a little more stuff in here. Let's go dig in to see what it is and how to get it off. Got some sort of thing here holding a metal cable and a seat belt. So let's see, hoping it just pops off somehow. There we go. There we go. Interesting. Looks like some sort of Torx head holding that on. Let me grab the tool and we'll get that out as well. This looks like my guy T50, but I'm not exactly sure what this is. Maybe if I roll the seat back? No, it's still pretty tight. Maybe I can just force it out of the way. There we go, whatever that is. And now, freedom! Got a rather large electrical thing here. Okay, how do you work, big guy? Yeah. Something like that. And another one. Okay, we might be free and get clear. Let's try and take this out. Easy as pie. Starting to see the extent of cleaning we have to do. Not gonna be pretty, but it'll be worth it. Let's get this passenger seat out. I'm assuming it's the same ordeal. Everything's out now. We got a pure canvas of dirty old carpet to work with. First thing, I got some stuff to throw away. All this change. Car's already paying itself off. Now 
we're all vacuumed up, I'm feeling a lot better about being inside of the car. But it really started highlighting all of our stains and all of our grossness. So we're gonna mix up a little cleaning juice concoction, see if we can brighten these carpets back up. All right, got the cleaning juice all made up right here. This is 50% warm water, 50% white vinegar, and I threw in a little uh, OxyClean and dish soap just to see if we can cut through some stains here. And then, since I don't want to die scrubbing, got a little attachment here for the drill. I'll run on low speed, see if we can just agitate that dirt and grime, get it out. And I'm going to start with a spot right underneath where the seat goes. That way I can test my method, make sure I'm not actually screwing up the carpet before I do something that's visible. So let's try it out. We're gonna be going for this brownish stain right here. Let's see what happens. Definitely not messing the carpet up and it's hard to tell because it's a little damp, but I think we're getting that stain out of there. Let me try hitting it with the vacuum again, see if I can suck this moisture out and we'll get a better look at it. I think we're gonna go ahead and call that one a success. They even like woke the carpet up a little bit and I'm not afraid to touch it. So let's go ahead and do the rest of this car and we'll have clean carpet. Here's a pretty particularly bad one I'm gonna have to get after. I don't know if that's buffalo sauce or what. And then all these back here in the rear passenger footwell. Let's take them out. And this is why the scrubbing is so important. Look at all this dirt and grime and crud that I'm getting out of these carpets that I couldn't get with the vacuum. You can see it right here. That's all coming out of the carpet. Gross. And there we go. We got probably about 90% of the stains removed, but there are a couple stubborn ones right over here. I don't know if it's coming across on the camera, but it's yellow, almost looks like a curry or something. And we can't forget a little bit of carpet on the back of these seats here. Gonna give it the same treatment. Wow, that is looking a lot better. And there are still a couple little spots where you can see a little bit of a stain. I got one more idea to try, and if not, I'm just gonna have to live with it. This is some Dawn Power Wash. It's like dish soap on steroids. Even after vacuuming and vinegar and water, this stuff is still coming out dirty. Glad to know I'm still getting dirt out of here. And there we are. That is as clean as it's gonna get. Still a little damp, so I'm gonna let it air out here with the doors open. I'll probably shut it up at night. And tomorrow's supposed to be a nice hot sunny day, so I'll reopen it back up. And we'll see how it all looks. But man, my back is killing me right now. Worth it. For cleaning the actual interior, I'm going with chemical guys. First, we're gonna hit it with the total interior cleaner, then the seats. I'm gonna give them a nice leather conditioner, try and rejuvenate them, bring them back to life. 
and for any hard to get in spaces, toothbrush and dish soap. The tried and true method. Here's where the toothbrush really comes in handy. See all that nastiness back there? There we go, shiny and clean. Use like half a bottle of this leather conditioner on this very high square footage amount of seats in here, but it's definitely worth it. These babies have been soaking in the sun for too long, need some juice. And just like that, we've got one clean Cadillac. It took about all weekend, a lot of hard work, a lot of scrubbing and a sore back, but I can confidently say it was 100% worth it. I'm no longer grossed out sitting in this car. There's no nastiness in the carpet, no more stains on the seats. And um, it's even helped the smell a little bit. It's not as uh, old, you know, basement smelling in here anymore. So we're moving up in the world. Love to see it. Hey, if you like what you saw, plenty more work to do on this caddy. I'm gonna be working on the outside here once all the rain stops and then, you know, start fixing things one by one. So if you wanna see more like this, Subscribe, and uh, if you like the video, hit it with a like. Until then, I'll see you next time. Peace.